Hey gang, so here we are. What are we gonna do? Let's play a game. The cool news is, finished with the uh, Caucasus campaign, got uh, a uh, quick read of the streets of Stalingrad, right there behind me. I had a quick read of the rules there. I think I found a, a small, suitable scenario to play that'll help fill in our chronological walkthrough through World War II, so that's pretty cool. Have uh, right, right here, right there, right there, uh, Tunisia set up for, or Tunisia. Depends on how you want to say it, and I'm in two minds about that. I got my little American brain over here saying it one way, and I got my little Australian brain over here saying it another way, and I've got my little, oh, what would the cognizant say, uh, brain going as well. And I think, uh, well, that is ready to go. In fact, we have rolled for supply. Well, we haven't actually rolled for supply because you don't need to. We have an unlimited supply dump in Algiers, and you just ship that sucker across. So we're doing that, and we're kicking off the scenario, actually, at the latter end, at the Kasserine Pass kind of stage of the war, at the, of this campaign. So it's actually February 43. So I'm kind of cheating just a smidge. Uh, we missed kind of the November preamble and all that sort of business, so I feel a little bit, I feel a tiny a little bit bad about that, but not a whole lot bad about it. Uh, lots of mud in that scenario, and I, I just didn't want to deal with the mud. Is that bad? I think that's bad, but whatever. Let's imagine that we did that, and we'll just move on. Okay. So one of the things I do want to talk about with this game is there's a fair amount of thought as usual that goes into these titles you know, there's the and from a gameplay perspective i'm talking about and you know what, what what are you trying to achieve with these things it's very easy to sit down and go okay here's the game objectives and the victory conditions and then play to victory uh from that perspective we can certainly do that and you know we will do that but after a recent experience with another OCS title that was uh, slightly more competitive, uh, it really showed me that you could do some very ahistorical, unnatural things in the game, and that can, you know, can kind of spoil the experience for one or both players. So, with that in mind, I, I've got uh, you, you know, for this particular scenario, we have. Uh, logistical trains to consider. We've got to make sure that the supply that's coming in either via rail or via port uh, by shipping is going to be able to get where it needs to be. We have a fairly limited number of trucks for the uh, excuse me, for the Allied player, Commonwealth player. I guess that's Allied because the US are in it as well. <clears throat> and the Germans have a similar situation where they're shipping all of their goods in or flying uh, their goods in uh, to the to the port the ports so they're gonna have to be careful about how they manage that and how they use their headquarters to 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 throw supply forward into the combat line so when we look at this we want to look at you know what are we in an overextended position are we in a uh, threatened position, are we defensive or offensive, depending on uh, which you know which scenario we're playing and or which side we're playing. And for the Allies here, what we're really trying to achieve is, in this situation is we're somewhat overextended. So we've got a situation where on our southern flank, uh, the U.S. forces are, are, are pushed forward. Uh, these the Germans have retreated back with. The 10th and 21st Panzer divisions have kind of retreated and the Americans have kind of gushed forward a little bit. So their first uh, order of business is going to be preventing the damage that can potentially be caused in the south and southern flank by the Axis player. And then up in the north, they've got to uh, continue their progression towards the, the victory conditions, which is capturing the, the port of Tunis and the port of uh, Bizerte. So we want to... Uh, work out how we're going to do that best and how much supply we're going to need to get into that uh, area. There's a lot of forces there, there's a lot of air there, so the defenses are going to be fairly heavy. There's no hedgehogs or anything like that in the south. Uh, so for the allies there, they've got quite a bit of work to do to work there to manage uh, a very consistent stream of supply going into that area. 
you know, probably take advantage of some artillery by the looks of it. There's lots of arty floating around. So building up some stores to do that and then finding those one or two weak points to crack through in these little narrow valleys that lead to both of these towns and then there's kind of an open plain area. In the south, uh, there's a, a significant force, uh, Montgomery's force coming in and that's going to come in at some point and we're going to need to manage time and use that in the southern part of the field uh, to make sure we tie up enough of the Axis forces in the south, and they're actually south of the Kasserine down near. Uh, there goes my phone again. <sighs> Had a meeting cancelled, that's why I'm making this video because I have to spare 45 minutes, and, and the phone's beeping. So we've got to manage the south for both sides. Uh, I'll leave it at that. So once we've assessed the overall strategic situation, we want to look at those supply situations and how we're going to handle that. Uh, all the other notes I made here, uh, and then really uh, determine where the opposition supply weaknesses might be. It's one of the things I like to do is look at choke points where if I press on uh, the defense or the offense, can I, can I puncture or interfere with the supply lines with the enemy, mess up their trace supply, things like that. So I wanted to kind of run that by a little bit. I'm going to stop the video and we'll have a, I'm just going to pan over the map and let you have a look at it set up for the campaign and then we'll, uh, I'll get this up to you and we can, maybe we can have a little bit of a dialogue on Facebook or uh, the blog or wherever it ends up later.